Welcome, welcome to my channel, folks. It's Nicolasa, and I'm trying a different angle today. I'm trying to give you guys a bird's eye view of what's in my bag in my Louis Vuitton No Way GM. I did just receive this back from Louis Vuitton last week, so if you want to, please check out that video. I did say that I was going to spray her with Apple Guard, so I've done that, and I kind of just want to show you guys what um, the ending result is. Uh, sorry for my feet that you can see through the table. Um, I did spray it with Apple Guard, which is the brain and stain repellent. I have used this on my Petite No Way as well, so I had good results from two years ago. So I decided to do the same thing here. <clears throat> the difference is I put a paper towel around this one to protect the canvas this time. Um, I gave her two even coats on all the leather parts, including my strap or my drawstring pull tag here. Um, and I let it dry. So it's been a couple of days and, and she's pretty much ready for use. So that's kind of why I have her on screen. All right. So what I want to do is share with you um, what's inside, why I love the Noe GM. I love the Noe in general. But I have come to love the Noe GM because she pretty much carries everything I need her to carry. Um, let me just back up for one second. The reason I use Apple Guard is because it makes me less neurotic with using this bag. I paid a lot of money to restore the leather on this bag. And so I would hate, hate, hate for my kid or somebody to... Um, I don't know, grab it, myself to grab it or do something like that and basically um, ruin it. I mean, I would really be heartbroken. So I decided to just protect it. I don't think it does anything to the patina process. It patinas as normal. Um, it might slow it a little. I'm not 100% certain. And the reason I say that is because my two-year-old Petite No Way um, is still very light patina. Um, so not like this, but it's lighter. Okay. Um, so if you want, if you guys want, I can do a comparison of how that one looks versus this one, that kind of thing after two years. Um, I did spray my handle or my shoulder strap as well. I took it off of here, laid it flat, sprayed it. She looks very good. There are no stains, no water drops, whatever, and you have to know how to use the Apple Guard. So for those of you who have never used it before, you make sure that you shake up this can. Um, my advice is to make sure you have enough. I made a mistake and started with my old can. I didn't have enough, and so I had to wait until Amazon brought me <laughs> the next can. So that delayed me using my bag. So please just make sure you have enough. You wanna shake this very well good, like you want to make sure it's all, um, it's going to spray even. You want to step back six inches or more from the bag. You want to spray an even coat on um, each surface. Do not uh, panic if you have pooling, which is, you know, pooling of the product. If you start touching it and start trying to manipulate that and everything like that, it's going to leave a stain. Leave it alone. But if you do have pooling, that means you're too close and you're spraying too much, okay? So you wanna do a light mist, basically, um, on the bag, okay? So I share that with you because, like I said in another video, I used to work at Foot Locker, and those are some of the things that you pretty much had to learn with some of the shoes and stuff like that. Um, I worked there eons and eons ago. Okay, so moving on, let's start with the outside and then I'm gonna take you into the inside of the bag. Now, I wanna show you something. You see this little stain here? That is not from me. It actually came from Louis Vuitton like that. Um, I didn't make a big deal of it because I don't care. Um, but honestly speaking, you could see where they probably were trying to do some sort of um, uh, I don't know, threading or something like that. And it made like a tiny, tiny, tiny darker spot there that came like that. So I actually do have that in the unpacking like that. And again, I didn't make a big deal because I don't care. I, I want to use this bag. And if I um, feel as though it's like new, I'm not gonna enjoy it. So I just, I just wanna enjoy it, right? I made this charm. This is a old... Um, charm or this piece right here is from the delightful if you've ever owned the delightful and i have so this charm is from the delightful i took the long 
the Keta piece off and I replaced it. Well, I just put it on here, but then I also have things on here from Hobby Lobby, basically. All of these pieces are from Hobby Lobby and really my point is the jingle, okay? I love the jingle, I love hearts as you can see. So this just hangs on the side here. It's got the Louis Vuitton on there and I love it when I walk it jingles. So anyway, all right, that's me being like, a kid, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Inside, you see I have my mauve organizer from Zumani. Again, Zumani is my favorite organizer of choice. Um, I absolutely love that company. I order mine from Amazon, and although it says one month, I think it is, or four weeks for shipping, it never takes that amount of time. So if you're interested in a organizer from Zumani, I encourage you to go to Amazon. Over here, you see my D-ring in the bag. I normally put my clay on there, um, so I don't know where it is, but I will find it and hook it there, okay? All right, so inside, let's talk about the inside. Look at how much room I still have at the top. If I wanted to add like a sweater or, I don't know, some of the kids' stuff, some of my husband's stuff, whatever the case may be, this bag serves as a great everyday running around type bag, okay? So that's what I love it for. Um, I love the petite no way for that reason as well. Let's get inside. You already know what I have, right? My Huggies tried and true um, natural care baby wipes. I use these um, on all of my bags. I'm not going to use it right now because I just got this and I just treated it. But if I were to get something on my bag, my Louis Vuitton, whether it be the canvas or the Vaquetta, I'm going to use this to even out that patina. And I've been using this on my leather products for years. Excuse me. This right here is my Instagram inspired. So, uh, okay, so you know what that means. And I just use this for um, just a catch-all for some of my Carmex. I'm in love with Carmex, guys. And like, you know, dental floss and... Um, you know, hand sanitizer, whatever the case may be. I kind of leave it in here. I love this. I got this the other day from Walmart. I'm in love with CarMax, as you know, but I love it because, or CarMax, I should say, because CarMax is an comp <laughs> auto company, right? Um, I love this because it's small and it came in a pack of six and I love just having these all over the place because I'm in love with those. Those are the only... Um, lip balm that's the only lip balm besides uh medics lip medics that doesn't dry my lips out okay so my instagram purchase that's the only thing in my collection that is an instagram purchase okay so don't come for me don't come for me all right here we go i have my son's epi pen because of course he's allergic to peanuts and i need to have that in my purse at all times i have my hemp's uh, lotion, which, you know, if you know hemp, look at that in the sun, how much is gone. Um, this is the greatest lotion, okay, especially for your hands and that kind of thing. Even though I myself make shea butter, I still carry this with me because it is a must-have. So I was going to do my video outside and the Texas sun said, no, you're not, okay? <laughs> Here we go with my Clements wallet in the rose ballerine you knew it was going to be in that color because i absolutely love uh the color pink and i love the clements so everything in my collection is um everything in my collection is pre-owned or pre-loved and um i only have like one item in my collection or two that are from the boutique which is my neo no way okay i'm saying that to you to say look at how beautiful my collection is um, and this one, as you know, uh, I told the story about what, a, how I bought it from Macari and I sent it into Louis Vuitton. So anyhow, I'm not going to show you the inside of my wallets because my, um, my driver's license and cards are in here, but I just wanted to show you that it's four credit card slots on each side, which I absolutely love because that's all I carry. And then you have two open slots for cash or whatever you need. And then of course the coin, um, part in the center. What I love about the Clements is simple. It is a full-size wallet without being full-size. It is shorter in height than a normal zippy wallet. As far as length is concerned, uh, neck and neck, but as far as height, it's shorter. And so it makes it more 
um, sleek and more slim and compact in, in like that. So when it fits into a lot of bags that you don't think it might fit into. So anyway, love the Clements wallet from Louis Vuitton. Sorry. Then I have my Tiffany shades, which I have not been using because I am not wearing my contacts these days. And so in order to wear my shades, I need my contacts in and I've been wearing my glasses. So whatever. Um, but these are absolutely beautiful. I got these this year. Um, I have not touched them other than maybe once or twice. And I love, I love them. They even have the Tiffany blue on the tips of the sunglasses. This right here, folks, is the best gum on the planet so far. I was in TJ Maxx and I saw this gum and I'm like, who, what is this pure? Like, don't they make water? And the ladies like, try it. A lot of people come in here and buy that gum. And I'm like, okay, so it's $4. It's a little, <clears throat> excuse me, expensive. But as you can see, there's no aspartame. It's gluten-free, all this other stuff. And the reason why I'm pointing that out to you is because um, I hate that aftertaste, but also this gum, if you remember chiclets, okay, <laughs> it's kind of like a candy coated gum and it does not lose its flavor and it does not stick to your teeth. Now I'm sounding like an old person, but I hate it when gum sticks to my teeth. And so I guess I am truthfully getting old, but, um, this one is the cinnamon. And so it doesn't lose its flavor. When I'm done with this, I'm going to get another flavor to try it as well. Okay. So pure gum. Okay. Reminds me of chiclet. So if you can pop your gum, which I've been trying to do for years, although my mother has threatened me never to do it, I would like to pop my gum. So I'm going to keep trying with the pure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna get me all right these are my um um airpods <clears throat> earbuds whatever all right of course apple have to have those in case you're in a situation where you need to quiet which i am i have a foxy fix um pen holder now i did have vanderspeck but i absolutely fell in love with this foxy fix one because it holds more and it's flat like my Vanderspeck one, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but this holds like maybe three or four pens and a marker if I needed something, you know, in there. I'm secure in this and it's pretty flat and flexible. So that's why I like just dropping that right in there. All right, what's next? Look at my, uh, I keep doing that with the camera. Look at my, um, the bottom of the bag. Okay, we're getting to the bottom and you can see that. This is, of course, um, needed, okay? I used to clown my mother for carrying this in her bag. Um, I'm like, why do you have that in your bag? And now I know why she has this in her bag. You wanna know why? Because when something's in your, your teeth and, and it's annoying, it's annoying. So I have these in my bag now. I did order this from Amazon. I am a brat. Uh, we did my daughter's wedding and I was thinking I was gonna cool myself off. Forget everybody else, right? Um, yeah, it, it's beautiful. It's, first of all, it is a power, it has a power cord here where you can plug and charge in, um, several things right there. Um, you also, it's, you can recharge it and it has several, uh, fan levels. So I really like this. Um, if you hit the button again, it goes up higher. You hear that? Now, what I love about it is when my kids go to do that, it stops. It's not like it takes your finger off. So I absolutely love it. And it might serve a purpose when you're in situations like at dinner or whatever, and you really need to like, or in the customer service line for that matter, and you need to calm down <laughs> or cool down. Um, as I'm getting older, I don't like to be hot. You know what that means. So I need this fan. It was $17 from Amazon. And then it has this hook on the bottom, which I'm sure you can bling out if you wanted to. So I love it. In pink, it came in several different colors. Um, on Amazon. Let me see if I could see the name of this. It's called Just Life. Yes, Focus. Uh, just, just You Life. Whatever. All right, so if you want to get that from Amazon, all right, 17 bucks. In that corner right there where the organizer has the water spout, I normally put my Tiffany glasses or sunglasses right there. I don't carry water in my bag. I just don't. Some people 
do. And another thing about the organizer is it does have a pen loop here and it does have several, um, you know, pockets here. So you totally, those are my receipts right there. Um, you totally could use this instead of using like a, uh, a pen holder inside. You could just put your pen right in there, but I don't. Okay. I hope you can see inside. It is pretty dark, but, um, again, I want it to film in here. Let me see if I can open this window and give you a little bit more light. I wanted to film inside because it is too hot folks. It's too hot. Okay. Outside. I tried. I tried at the bottom. I've got some loose stuff. So I went to Victoria's Secret, um, last week for anniversary and I picked up this because of course, um, Pink, anything pink is mine, all right? My Carmex, what did I say? I love it, I love it. I've got um, Carmex um, all throughout my bag. Some Colace, which I don't take, but I need to start taking that's good for digestion. And then I have a lip balm from my girlfriend, Julie. She gave me this for, I think, Christmas, yeah. So I like this uh, color and what have you. It's from Bigelow, Bigelow, yes. All right, moving on. Let's get finished with this. I normally do not carry my um, planner on the inside of my bag just simply because of uh, weights and that kind of thing. It's an A6 codex from Vanderspeck, but I've been carrying or trying to change that and carrying it with me because, um, yeah, your girl's forgetting stuff, so um, it's it's better to just carry it, and I have the room. Why not? Um, so this is my A6 Codex. This is my planner that I use on a daily basis. Let's see if I could show you something that you don't need to be. Let's see. No, you can't see that. Anyway, point is, this is my planner, okay? So, all right, let's wrap this up. I think I have one more thing in here. I have put the Tiffany glasses back in there. Um, off to the side, I do have my Claritin. I have not been using that in Texas. I think because obviously, um, <clears throat> excuse me, allergy season is kind of over. Okay. But, um, I always keep that in my bag just in case because I, I hate to, you know, be coughing and sneezing and that kind of thing. I have a little Tupperware case, of course, in pink of my vitamins. I take Ali, Ali. Olo. What? I don't know. Okay. I take those every day. <laughs> um, I try to, Ali. Yes. I try to take them every day. I take two of these gummies every day and they're for, um, women who are over 40. I think it is. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm approaching 50 here. So anywho, that's what's in my bag. Okay. All of that stuff. And I still have room for more stuff in my bag. I'm not going to stuff it just for the simple sake of stuffing it. Um, I'm going to carry what I need. Let me move all of this away from my vaquetta. Okay. Um, I want to show you the end results of the spray on the bottom. So that's the spray. Remember I sprayed it with Apple Guard. It looks amazing. I will tell you that <clears throat> excuse me it feels um a tad a tad different when you spray it with apple guard it does not feel the same as it feels when you get it it feels um a little softer like it has like a little coating on it I wanted to alert you of that just in case you don't particularly care for that. All right, so that's the only thing I noticed. I don't notice anything else. I don't notice that it doesn't patina. It does patina. Um, I don't notice that it gets, it does not get stains. I know that. Um, I've actually had my petite no way for <laughs> uh, two years. And I will be honest with you, there's not one stain on that petite no way um there's just patina and I've carried it I haven't carried it a lot but I've carried it and so I just wanted to share that with you if you're kind of neurotic or you know maybe you've had something that's gotten ruined I know I have got like a planner that's gotten ruined and it just changes everything when 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 your stuff is ruined and it's new I you know, if it's old, then then fine. But like, if I'm going to spend what I spent to restore this leather, I don't want it damaged. So I'm going to go ahead and spend $30 or whatever this was, $25 to protect it. That's what I'm going to do. So, but to each his own. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video of what's in my bag for the petite 
I'm sorry, the No Way GM Louis Vuitton. If there's something else that you would like to see me do, please let me know. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of my brand new baby. You guys have a great day.